And while students say they enjoy being part of the Harp Week Ensemble, there are a few strings attached. That's why the name of the show is Out of Myth and Into Reality. That's 950 horses of raw power right behind me. British ships of commerce, beware. Yo ho, away we go. A pirate ship and its Jolly Roger have been spotted sailing Lake Erie. Where? Captain Gundy, better known as Black Dog, and his crew have been training young boys and girls the ropes of being a pirate. You've got to learn to talk like a pirate. S. S. How many times do I have to tell you it's R, R, R. 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 And you've got to learn to fight like a pirate. The pirate ship El Loro sets sail from Sandusky three times a day. Check out any of the living magazines. Honey, I'm home. And in it, you'll find plenty of pictures of vintage furniture from the 50s. A perfect way to do a little research before you buy. The Pythium Castle has stood on this spot for 120 years. But all it took was 15 years of water damage to do all this. When it comes to old-fashioned barber shops, it doesn't get any older than the barbers Gus and us. The, the chair you're setting in dates back to about 1927. Stuffed animals on the wall, a haircut for a hair. Guy talk about everyday events filling the air. But it's not the cutting edge styles that make Gus and us famous. Ooh, I like number four. Outside is where you'll find their true claim to fame an unusually large barber shop pole. That's an attraction, you might say. Reaching to the sky, it stands 62 and a half feet tall. And believe it or not, Ripley's Believe It or Not got a hold of it. And crowned the barber pole as the world's tallest. They hadn't been done before. Music fills the air over at Miss Ruby's. And draft beer always on tap over at the Longhorn Saloon. Before you enter Stagecoach Stop USA, it's a lot of fun for the whole family. Stop on by the trading post. You may walk in looking like a city slicker. Everything in one stop. But you're guaranteed to walk out looking like an authentic cowboy. Now let's go get them herps. But to get to the Old West, you have to go north. Stagecoach Stop isn't in Arizona or New Mexico. It's in Michigan? Because a lot of people can't travel to the West. It's just too far of a travel just to see an old West town. And this way they get a taste of it. While tasting some Old West cooking at the Lumberjack Kitchen. Tasty vittles. Catch an Old West magic show. <laughs> or tour the park in an Old West train. And in the, in the evening we take a hay ride. Just make sure you don't miss the stunt show over on Main Street. <laughs> it's just like in the movies. You think you got what it takes? Make you move. If you don't do it right, you get hurt real bad. Or you could end up in jail. The Wild West has never been so much fun. Dave Hacked, NBC 24, your most local news station. I've been framed! Built by the Irish more than 100 years ago, today St. Patrick's Church still stands. Testament to the faith of the Irish, says its pastor. The people who built this church were poorer than the people who live here now, and yet they built a monument like this. An Irish influence found from the Shamrock Terrazzo floor to a huge stained glass window of St. Patrick. All honor to St. Patrick, a traditional favorite here for the church organist. Most churches of this age would have an all-pipe organ, usually, but this is the new technology. They've merged the 80-year-old pipes with a state-of-the-art computer, changing the tone with the push of a pedal. The organ may be state-of-the-art, but St. Patrick's bell still works the old-fashioned way. But the bell, it doesn't just chime for those on Sunday morning. Construction resumed in the spring of 1894. Historians also give tours of historic St. Pat's. On top of the institute was the statue of St. Patrick. And you don't have to be Irish or even a Catholic to attend. We find this to be a special place. 
something St. Patrick's wants to share, not just on St. Patrick's Day.